Wowzers, this playoff race is crazy! And this game between the Detroit Red Wings and the Pittsburgh Penguins was one of the most important ones of them all. Heading into tonight's matchup, the Red Wings had a 24% chance at making the Stanley Cup playoffs. But they lost to the Penguins in overtime, dropping their overall odds down to 17.3%. Meanwhile, the Pittsburgh Penguins, they won this game in overtime, bringing their overall odds from the 42 percentile it was this morning all the way up to 55.9%. This race is insane, not just for the final wild card, but for that final spot in the Metropolitan Division because the Penguins, now posting themselves 86 points, are in that wild card spot. They've overtaken Washington and Philadelphia, and they're one point away from catching the Islanders. Meanwhile, the Detroit Red Wings, they got themselves a very valuable point. They have now tied the Capitals and the Flyers, but the tiebreakers actually do go out to those other former teams. So the Wings, they're not done yet. These final few games will really determine what plays out between the Islanders, the Capitals, the Flyers, and the Penguins. But this game here, with one point on tap, was as important of a point as any the Wings have gotten before. Now, I will say, when it comes to the out-of-town scoreboard, lots of watching going on today. Because the Capitals, hey, guess what? They lost 4-2 to the Sabres earlier today. The Islanders are playing the Montreal Canadiens right now. At the time of recording this audio, it's a 2-2 tie. So we'll see if the Isles are able to hold on to the game and get some extra points. It'll certainly change the way we view the standings. But this Wings and Penguins game was kind of a big deal, and it's a big deal because not only did you have yourselves Lucas Raymond getting himself a hat trick, but you also had yourselves a pretty big milestone scored by Sidney Crosby, who gets himself his 1,000th NHL assist. He got it on the overtime Eric Carlson game-winning goal, and while it is not the ideal scenario for the Detroit Red Wings to see unfold in front of them, especially since, you know, it's Pittsburgh, there was a rivalry over a decade ago, etc, etc, but seeing Sidney Crosby get himself 1,000 NHL assists is kind of nutty because he is one of the best players of all time, probably the best player of the 2000s and a part of the 2010s, and overall you can't go out there and deny. Sid the Kid, certainly not a kid anymore, but he is still fantastic. Either way, though, this game also had itself a few goals scored by the Red Wings that I think we should be talking about here, because Lucas Raymond scored himself a hat-trick, the first goal of the game. It is a rebound out in front where he backhands it on goal, assisted by Alex Dabrinkit. Keep that in the back of your mind. Second goal of the game, beautiful centering pass from Alex Dabrinkit over to Raymond, who comes right in and dangles by Nedeljkovic, going backhand and tying the game up 2-2. The Wings then let things get out of hand a little bit. They surrendered two goals to Pittsburgh and Sidney Crosby. You had Crosby with his 41st on the year, tipping it in to make it 3-2, and then Brian Rust scored to make it 4-2. But right at the end of the second period, when all hope seems to be lost, the Wings are down by two with potentially 20 minutes to go. It's none other than Jeff Petrie, yeah, the MVP himself, who walks right in with a slapper. He gets it by Nedeljkovic, he beats the screen, it's a 4-3 game, as Petrie brings it within one. You know, Petrie has had his fair share of hate over the past few months, and I'll say it's very deserved. Like, I'm not going to go out there and say that he isn't deserving of any of the criticism he's received, but he was one of the fewest played defensemen on the ice tonight. Him and Olimata were the two guys with the least amount of ice time. Mo Sider, of course, had the most, but... He's proven that he still has at least some value in this game as he gets himself on the board and, with his third of the season, brings the Wings within one. However, Detroit did not make things easy for themselves to open up this third period because Jeff Carter, with a poke at the Penguins' blue line, ends up getting a shorthanded breakaway, and as he has done so often in his career, he walks right in with an open lane, down the wing, he shoots, and he scores, makes it 5-3 Pittsburgh. 
You don't want to be giving shorthanded breakaways to guys, especially when their names are Jeff Carter. So for the Red Wings, at this point in the game, we were seeing all the doomers coming out. No, this team stinks. They're not able to get things together. They're getting goalie this and that, and they're not getting the calls. And guys were getting high-sticked and hooked and shoved and no calls, no calls, no calls. And the one call the Wings do get ends up in a shorthanded goal against, oh my goodness, the hockey gods are out to get Detroit. But then, a shining light was seen in the distance. And this shining light was none other than the big, bright wings of Dylan Larkin flying in here to save the day as he got himself a goal to bring the wings within one. Beautiful goal here. It is a centering feed out in front from Lucas Raymond. Larkin is all by himself at the goal mouth. He puts it in, wings are within one, and then just two minutes later, Dylan Larkin with a beautiful pass, is able to beat the Pittsburgh defender to the puck, sends it into the middle for Raymond, who has a mini breakaway, and he scores on the glove side of Nedeljkovic. Five minutes to go. It is a tie game, 5-5. And everybody was just watching this game with one thing in mind. Get at least a point. Get a point. Don't blow this one here. Get a point, Detroit, please. Heading into tonight's action, the Penguins and the Wings were actually tied in points and in games played and everything, but it's a little bit different because the Penguins still have the opportunity to squeak into the postseason with that Metro spot, the third Metro spot currently held by the Islanders. The Red Wings can only squeak into the postseason with that second wild card. Hate to tell you this, but the rest of the Atlantic division is pretty much locked and sealed already. The Wings are not going to catch the Maple Leafs or the Panthers or the Bruins, so the fact that the Wings only have one means to making the playoffs this year in that wild card, but the Penguins have two means because if the Islanders choke, the Penguins or the Capitals or the Flyers could easily take that third Metro spot, it's a little bit more dire for Detroit. So the sentiment here was, hey, get that point, get at least one. And there were a few chances that the Penguins had towards the end of the third period where it was like, okay, like you're pulling your hair out there because if Guinea Malkin chucked a puck on goal from long range that just went wide barely, or you had Alex Lyon forced to make a save in front, like very dangerous stuff, very antsy stuff. But they got to OT, they got a point, and they were saying in the broadcast that the Penguins have been pretty bad in overtime this season. The Red Wings, on the other hand, have been very good. But during this overtime, I mean, the Penguins were playing keep away and the Wings had one opportunity. Dylan Larkin came in on a 2-on-1 with Mo Sider, but it was at the end of a long shift. They were gassed. Larkin got the shot. Nadalkovich made the save. He covered and the Penguins won the ensuing faceoff. Give it a little bit of cycling and eventually the Penguins get it into the Red Wings zone. They take a few shots and it's Eric Carlson who buries a slap shot from beyond the hash marks right through the screen of Shane Goss' despair. Unfortunately, Goss Despair was in the perfect spot to block Lyon's view and make it so that he could not see it, but Sidney Crosby gets his 1,000th NHL assist on that Carlson goal. Nice milestone there for Sid the Kid, but at the end of the day, you have the Red Wings clawing back, fighting back, and putting them in a prime position to get one point. They needed this, and it all comes off the backs of Alex Dabrinkit, Lucas Raymond, and Dylan Larkin, each of them with multiple points here to bring it three assists, Larkin a goal and two assists. Raymond had three goals and an assist, so multi point games out of this entire line. Alex to bring it, buddy. I know I've been talking a lot of smack about him and his inability to score goals, but he's still getting assists, so that's helpful as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Lucas Raymond's hat trick against the Pittsburgh Penguins and Sidney Crosby getting his 1000th NHL assist. I hope you enjoyed this Vishash Rolls 9. And bye.